Capricorns, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast. This is for the week of the 7th through the 13th of November 2016. I'm Athen, and this channel is about using the actual constellations in the sky. If you are new, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different, which means your sign might be different, and you'll want to watch this for the right sign. All right, so Capricorn, this week we have a lot of planets shifting. We've got uh, Venus and Mars shifting signs right on Monday and Tuesday. And so definitely the shift of uh, of your house. Let's talk about this, actually. Mars going into your first house is about motivation and drive, I think, to pursue your personal needs. Uh, maybe there's a bit of independence right now. You could be a bit direct and take some action uh, towards cultivating these personal needs of yours. Makes it a really good time for goals, for aspirations, uh, anything that does require that energy, prana, and life force, um, which really comes from you know, that self-willed energy of taking those first initial steps and moving, moving things forward. And this is actually coming from a Mars that's been in your 12th for about the past couple months, uh, really emphasizing behind the scenes stuff, you know, more about receptivity and going with the flow and, and all that. But now Mars loves to be in the first house, loves to be in your sign actually. And so uh, this boost of energy, boost of independence, boost of motivation that can certainly uh, be available. Now Venus is going into your 12th. So um, there is some, I think, enjoyments to be had with maybe a bit of the tranquil energy. Now Venus much more prefers to be in the 12th than Mars. In fact, she's very strong there. So your imagination could be very good. Your creative side could be very good. Um, you could be finding there is peace, there is tranquility. And so whatever those values are there, um, it's an excellent time these next few weeks to enjoy a bit of that receptive approach to life. Now, uh, that's the beginning of the week. Let's go and look at also what's going on at that time. The sun will be sextiling up to Pluto on Monday. And so this has been a sun in your 10th house. Um, and it's all part of these new beginnings about your career or your productive life or what you might consider your legacy. So whatever that's been, uh, whatever new seeds you planted about a week or two ago, um, it's now the time to continue to move those things forward. In fact, we're going to have a full moon at the uh, very beginning of next week on Monday, which means as the week unfolds, there's more awareness, there's more momentum, there's more cultivation. And I think a lot of it does have to do with this productive stuff. Um, a lot of it also has to do with your um, roots, which is uh, another location of this. Um, if you've started something new with home, family, or health about six months ago, um, week's end and Monday of next week could be a high point with that. And also too with your self-expression. Anything you started that's been a, a creative project or a hobby or interest, things that are close to your heart, um, is also coming to a head um, this week's end. And also too, I want to mention it's a very... Uh, inspiring time you know this new moon was actually in your ninth house which is about your uh, open-mindedness your adventurous side your philosophical side and there should be plenty of opportunities I think to continue to cultivate these matters because you've got Jupiter here in the ninth helping you see potential see possibilities and again access a bit of that inspiring nature of yours so those are all very good areas and like I said as the week unfolds certainly things moving forward with those matters and uh, on Monday, with the sun sextiling Pluto, maybe some change, maybe particularly with change of the um, career stuff, productive stuff. It's just an opening for that, but I think it's a good momentum there. And also, too, with depth, you know, intimacy, openness. Maybe there's some changes happening with that as well. And, you know, that's really been the north node in your eighth house, suggesting this year and next year is just an excellent time for you to be, <clears throat> you know, opening up to life connecting to life on a deeper level, asking yourself what really matters, connecting to yourself on a deeper level, diving deep into your psyche, into your spiritual being, seeing if there are any inhibitions and uh, cycles and patterns that are holding you back that you can break free from, you know, and that's the eighth house. And also in relationships to openness, intimacy, vulnerability in those relationships, I think is just excellent. Now to do that, uh, we do have to rectify and bring back into balance the south node uh, who is actually going to be very close to Neptune all week as you can see here and they're going to go exact on the 17th next week uh, so this whole week it's suggesting that there might be some unhealthy things relating to your resources maybe relating to your finances that you can make some changes with here and, and a lot of it's about your perspective of them and a lot of it has to do too with your sense of self-worth 
So if you feel like your self-worth, your finances or your resources or all of the above um, are out of balance, then it's a good week to see where that might be so, where you can make some changes. Um, and maybe there's been either not enough energy here, which is Neptune sometimes. It could be an under extreme if you've been feeling like just not enough energy in these areas. Then maybe making changes to cultivate that, uh, to increase that you know, change there. Uh, but it could also be an over extreme if you've been very idealistic or fantastical, you know, fantasies about the um, financial material stuff. Maybe it's time to bring that back to a realistic balanced perspective as well. So however that's manifesting for you, just simply asking yourself, is there anything imbalanced internally or externally having to do with my inner resources or my outer resources? And if so, are there things that you can bring back to balance, make some change with? And this is again, so that you can cultivate what really matters to you in life, which is the eighth house and in you know the deeper side to life, connecting to what really matters in the sense of maybe relationships, maybe with yourself in a sense of, you know, uh, the deeper side to yourself, connecting to that and the openness there and the transformation there so you can break these cycles and patterns to free you up. All right. And, um, you know, another thing too, this is about relying on others a bit because the second house is about self-reliance, but this is the eighth house of um, shared resources, relying on others. Maybe there's something there that you could be focused on too, but it'll happen because you've brought balance back to the second house. All right, so that's the um, conjunction there. And then as we get into the week's end, Mercury is going to start to shift into um, your 11th house, which is emphasizing this. Um, now I think focus on your aspirations, which has already been the focal point. Your ruler has been in the 11th house this year. Um, so great. Now, where you have been, I think, working hard towards or can have been and, and, and can be working hard towards um, your future aspirations. Now, Mercury comes in here to help you um, work on the details of it, really get into the nitty gritty of it. And I think this week's end is just an excellent time to do that next week and the following week. It's a good time to use that practical mind of yours to really work on the details of those future aspirations, maybe even do some networking, connecting to groups, friends, that type of thing as well. That could be coming through your daily work. It could also be coming through, again, what has been these expansive horizons of yours. All right, so uh, so that's the shift. And then the week ends with the sun trining up to Chiron. So there can be a bit of healing and rejuvenation this week's end. Again, it might have to do with the career productive life. It might have to do with the healing and openness and vulnerability that's certainly been um, transforming. Uh, but there's, uh, yeah, rejuvenation with all of that. And uh, the way I would simplify this whole week, though, the most simple thing here is that Mars, first of all, is going into your first house, giving you a sense of motivation and drive. And this is all about you being independent, direct, going after the things that are important to you in life with balance, of course. But this is what Mars in the first house is all about. And then likewise, maybe enjoying a bit of that receptive energy, uh, continuing to cultivate those aspirations and continuing to cultivate what has been, I think, an adventurous or open minded time. At least that's where the opportunities are. And then also a time of your um, career productive life as well. All right, so Capricorn, have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week.